Hey, chiropractors, welcome to Modern Chiropractic Mastery with your host, Dr. Kevin Christie, where we discuss the latest in marketing, business, and professional growth with some of the leading experts in the industry. Before we get to the episode, I want to tell you about my friend and colleague, Dr. Holly Tucker of ChiroNumbers.com. Have you been in practice a few years now and you're wondering when your business will start to reward you financially? Are you so overwhelmed with the day-to-day business management that it is hard to see your success? Or are you trying to expand your team and worried about the impact to the bottom line? Dr. Holly is a certified profit-first professional and a chiropractor herself who has managed multiple practices over the past 10 years and consults specifically on implementing the cash flow system of profit first for chiropractors. Simplify the way you look at stats, metrics, and your own compensation through this methodology by working with someone with unique experience in your business model. Visit bit.ly bit.ly slash chiro numbers to get your guide and video training. Download the first two chapters of Profit First and subscribe to her weekly five-minute Friday series on profitability. Start to feel less overwhelmed, avoid burnout, and clean up your finances so you can focus on patient care. Again, that's bit.ly slash Cairo numbers for access to Dr. Holly's resources. All right, here goes a little solo episode that I tend to do. I enjoy doing them. And we're going to have a nice little wide-ranging episode of topics today because we're actually going to be centering it around the mastermind that we do have and and discuss it a little bit, give you an inside look, and and we'll go from there. But before we do that, I want to discuss a couple things, just little updates, housekeeping. I just had a great time at Parker, uh, Florida in Orlando, just a great venue. They always put on a great show. I was um, excited to be back at it and speaking to their audience and really dove into the audience builder. Uh, you know, I get so many people asking me and, and one of the common complaints is, is, is how do you build an audience? And so we dove into how to do that, how to have a congruent message for it, and really just dove into what I did, uh, honestly, to build my practice and the modern chiropractic marketing group, right? Like this company, this marketing company was founded on actually doing content marketing consistently. I didn't even monetize this for two years. I was producing content through the Facebook group and the podcast for about two years before I even uh, saw a dollar from it. I just was providing consistent, valuable, uh, educational content to a defined audience. And people started to listen to that and, and, and see it. And ultimately, that's how an audience was built. And it's the same thing you can do in, in practice. And that's what I uh, talked about. And I think now is, you know, it's an interesting time. This is June of 2022. And uh, we've, we've talked about it on this podcast a few weeks ago. You know, the economy's a little weird right now. It's heading to a weird direction. But the one thing that you can do uh, consistently, no matter what, is create content and get it out there consistently and making sure that it's valuable and you will cut through the clutter. There's going to be a lot of people struggling at this point uh, or whenever this recession officially happens, if it does. Uh, But if you are focusing on those, you know, those leading indicators, right? Those things that you can do to move the needle, uh, you will be coming out the other side of this well. And so I, I really dove into that. Um, at Parker, it was great. Had a nice audience. Um, had had some great conversations. A lot of people there that I knew, uh, and it's nice to see. You know, Parker's now got obviously Vegas. They have their Dallas usually in October, and now they have Orlando in June. And uh, they had it at a, a really nice venue, and so it was nice to shoot up there on a Friday to do that. Uh, second little housekeeping is uh, we did uh, today, as I record this, actually our full. Uh, our first full-time marketing coordinator for Modern Chiropractic Marketing has started, and we're getting her on board on everything. We have a lot of exciting things. Uh, we've been transitioning our current clients to, and then we'll be in a couple months uh, ready to uh, let you know about that if you're not a current client. So we're really 
changing the game a little bit here, uh, and we're excited for that, and we're um, we're hiring, right? So as that episode I had a few weeks ago was Be the Buffalo, and uh, we're going to head into this thing, and we're, we're going to smartly uh, grow our, our businesses, whether it's our practice, the Chiropractic Success Academy, or Modern Chiropractic Marketing. We are going to strategically uh, grow, and this was a big move for us, and we're excited about it. And so Ashley is now our marketing coordinator, and you'll be seeing some of her in the Facebook group, but she'll really be doing a lot of client work and heads down doing that. So, all right, let's move on to the topic of mastermind. What the heck is a mastermind, right? It's like a cliche at this point or a, a, a catch term, but it actually is something. And so we named it the MCM mastermind. Uh, and essentially, it's a combination of brainstorming, education, peer accountability, and support to sharpen your business and your personal skills. And that that sentence there, which I just got from the Success Alliance, sums it up. And that's what I've experienced in the last uh, two meetings we've had. And so the, the 2022 uh, mastermind is in full swing. We've got our third meeting in, in uh, mid-late July in Sarasota, F- Florida, and then our fourth in Key Largo in November. The mastermind for this year is closed, but it's been been great to see the brainstorming, the education, the peer accountability, the sharpening the business and personal skills. Um, it, you know, just what we've collectively learned from each other and our guest presenters has been been phenomenal in the two uh, two weekends so far. And so I'll go into a little bit in a, in a second. But you know, I developed a theme around this year and I and for next year. But this theme really was a uh, you know I wanted to make sure we were tackling things like leaderships and, you know, and systems and, and marketing and business and all that. And, and it was great to have Jay Greenstein be our first presenter in January down in Delray Beach. And he talked about the MP3 and it set the tone, which is M is mindset. And then the three P's are purpose, people and process. And he went through that whole system that he has and introduced it to our group. And it, it was a phenomenal start to it because that really helped build uh, the theme of the whole year and and go each weekend with tackling one of those or a couple of those uh, specifically, right? And so once we got rolling with Jay's information and diving into that, laying the framework, which was which is a lot of us needed, uh, we had our second weekend in St. Augustine, Florida, and we had strategic coach come down and they talked a lot about front stage and backstage, and then the unique process. So we really hammered process out of that MP3. We we really tackled the process of things and, and what our uh, patient experience looked like, um, you know, what the front stage of our practice, which is what they can see, what that looked like, uh, what are the backstage systems or processes to handle that. And so we, we dove into that, and as tr- Strategic Coach always does, has great tools and great information, and they really allowed us to have a – a a really good uh, tool system to start working on and that that particular weekend I know we all left was like okay we got a lot of work to do to improve our patient experience because you know a lot of times we will look at all the fancy stuff as marketing and uh, you know the financials and and all that but sometimes it comes down to just like the little things of the experience of that patient like even today we I talked with my team about um, having like, let's select four or five radio stations that are within a, a range of acceptance <laughs> for most people. And then let's figure out what's a good volume level, level that has good energy, but not too loud, but not too quiet where it doesn't have that energy to it. And so, you know, I always remember back reading something years ago, it's probably 20 years ago. Um, a lot of retail, like clothing stores, like Abercrombie and stuff, they have a smell like they would, you know, spritz their particular smell in the, in the, in the, sh- in the store. And so you would go in there and you'd always smell that. We, I think a lot of you that have been in Abercrombie a lot, you, as soon as I said that you can smell that. Right. And so a lot of companies pay a lot of attention to the details of the experience, smell, lighting, uh, the music, the ambiance, the people, what people are wearing, right? Like there's a lot of things and sometimes we take it for granted. So we start, really started looking under 
all aspects of the patient experience, including certain things like that. And so that was, um, uh, that was back in April and, and that was just a, a fun, great weekend. Uh, and then we roll into Sarasota coming up and Mark King, who's also a member of the mastermind is our presenter. Um, I had asked him to present, uh, when I first even came up with this idea a year ago and he said, yes. And he's like, can I also be a member? So that's how that worked out. Uh, and he is going to be tackling all things transformational leadership. If there's any leaders in our profession, he is in the probably top five of those. And that, so we'll really hammer the mindset and the purpose aspect of what I talked about, how Jay introduced the MP3. And so Mark's going to do a phenomenal job as usually, as usual in really hammering in the mindset and purpose of being a leader, because ultimately that is what you are, whether you own the practice or you don't, or you will someday, you are a leader, you're a leader in the community, you're a leader for your team, you're a leader for your patients. And and frankly, a lot of us struggle with that. And so we're going to be really tackling that uh, this upcoming weekend. All right, docs, here is a new opportunity for you from Darcy Sullivan of Propel. She is our SEO specialist in helping out many chiropractors uh, with their search engine optimization and making sure Google is finding you and getting you new patients. It's amazing how many new patients chiropractors can get and are getting when they do uh, the SEO right and a few other things. And Darcy is offering a free SEO workshop just for chiropractors. And you can sign up for that at bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash Propel M-C-M. That is bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y, Propel M-C-M, Modern Chiropractic Marketing, right? And so check out that link. And we're going to have you go over five SEO secrets to owning the first page of Google uh, without buying ads. And Darcy's going to give that free workshop one hour to really help grow your practice and start churning new patients from the ever mighty Google, which is still king in the online marketing. So check that out at bit.ly slash propel MCM for the one hour free workshop. Hey doc, are you moving office spaces or you're a startup with your own new space or you're like me where you need renovations because it's starting to look a little worn after about 10 years like ours is? Um, Crossfields Chiropractic Office Design is here to elevate you wherever you're at and they're gonna help maximize your space and flow. They're gonna really help attract and retain patients and this is gonna have a great ROI on your investment when you increase that patient experience. So check out Chiropractic office designs by Crossfields. And we have a special link for modern chiropractic marketing listeners. And that is www.chiropracticofficedesign.com slash Kevin dash Christie. And with that, you're going to have discounts. We're going to have direct links to a mega bundle of free resources, and you can check them out and you can get 15 of our most popular floor plans, five phase checklist for a startup office, five point designer checklist to evaluate your current office image And there's 30% off on all online products when you go to www.chiropracticofficedesign.com slash Kevin dash Christie. And then we roll into uh, the fourth and final in Key Largo. And I have um, Delegate Solutions. Uh, Got the founder, Emily Morgan, coming to speak on strategic delegation. So we're going to really talk a lot about the people of your business and get clear on that, making sure that everybody's doing the right stuff, the right seats and the right bus, all that type of stuff, and how you can appropriately and effectively delegate to get all those $20 an hour tasks off your plate. Uh, So many chiropractors I talk to, I mean, it's, uh, it's just endless how many are doing a lot of $20 an hour tasks, and it's eating away at your ability to focus on the things that bring in the real revenue, right? If you're spending five hours a week doing $20 $20 an hour tasks, that's five hours you could have been doing some kind of marketing, community outreach, treating patients, or even just relaxing a little bit so that your bandwidth isn't eaten up and you're just overwhelmed, okay? And so that's um, gonna wrap up the year in 2022. And so the, the theme really hammers that mindset, that purpose, the people and the process of a practice. And uh, it's just been fun. It's been a learning experience for me in, in a lot of ways, not only in running a mastermind, but also in the, just the, the substance of what we've been getting out of it. 
um, it's just been a lot of fun. And so I, um, you know, cause we, we do a lot of classroom work like that, you know, Fridays from nine to one, it's the guest presenter really working through stuff. It's not didactic lecture per se. It's, it's going over our concepts and then we, we break into small groups and we work together and we alternate that for the four hours in the morning. Then we have lunch together in the, in the meeting space. And in the afternoon we work together on those concepts large group, small group, working on certain things to, to really make it um, tailored to each member's particular practice. And then we go out to a nice, like a, a nice group dinner, and that's covered by the mastermind, and we just have a good time and still talk shop and connect and uh, bounce ideas off each other, and that's been great. And then we roll into Saturday, which we have four hours uh, on Saturday morning where we've altered that each time, different things like anything from a hot seat session to each one teach one the the last weekend uh, five or six of us members did 20 minute uh, presentations on game changing topics uh, that has really grown their practice and and we're going to do that again in sarasota so the saturday morning really just tries to um, bring more ideas to the table and, and cement that and then we do a group activity on saturday afternoon and and again just enjoy each other's company, bounce ideas, really um, start to cultivate concepts and, and strategies and ideas so that when you leave, uh, you have 90 days to work on it. And we have the um, digital communication. We keep in touch with each other throughout. We have a Zoom call each month. We have email connect and, and text. And we, we uh, have predetermined accountability groups that change each quarter. And so it's more than just a, a weekend seminar and then you, you don't apply it, but we really are trying to cement these ideas. And so, uh, you know, 2022 has been great so far. We're really excited about that. And here actually are a couple of testimonials from Mark King and Jeff Williams about what they've gotten so far from the mastermind. I'm Dr. Mark King from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm here in Florida doing the Dr. Kevin Christie mastermind series. I'm really appreciative of the chance to do this. Uh, it gives you a chance to be around a bunch of smart people and it gives you a chance to stop and think and analyze to work on your practice a bit. So thanks to Dr. Kevin Christie for organizing this. I've really enjoyed it and uh, look forward to the, uh, the other classes coming up. Mark, you've been in practice 20 plus years. What's, what's your biggest take home on Monday morning? I have a list. <laughs> of things that I want to analyze and, and, and check. And I, I like the idea with these other docs that are here. Like I said, they're super smart guys and they have very successful practices and they just have a, a, a an open mind to discuss and think about things. And everyone thinks about things just a little differently. And that really opens up some uh, thinking in my brain about how to keep uh, trying to improve my practice and, and uh, help other people improve theirs. So I'm Jeff Williams from Amarillo, Texas. Uh, I own uh, Creekstone Integrative Medical, and um, I'm here for the MCM Mastermind Weekend with uh, Dr. Kevin Christie and, and uh, the rest of the crew. We got 14 or 15 top chiropractors from around the nation, uh, all coming here to Florida four times a year to help solve each other's issues and uh, become better doctors, better clinic owners, better bosses, and uh, pretty much better everything. Monday morning, what are you taking home to Amarillo and what are you going to do with it? So we had a really good session yesterday with Strategic Coach. Uh, talked a lot about front stage, backstage, kind of a Disney concept, their take on it. Um, and uh, pretty excited to get back and implement some of those techniques and strategies. Uh, I think my staff, they always uh, look forward to me coming back from one of these trips and what, what cool stuff are we going to do now, you know? <laughs> All right, let me kind of piggyback those testimonials on some of the stuff that's come from this year so far f- from members. Uh, I'm not going to mention names, but after the first weekend, two had decided to hire associates and they either have or in the uh, process of doing that. That's been awesome. A couple other random things that came around, you know, just quite a bit of money was made from the last one because someone brought up the employee retention credit. And I think half the room had done that or one's accountant said they couldn't do it. But then after uh, checking with a different accountant, they could and ended up getting all this money back. 
And so check out, if you have not in, uh, applied for that employee retention credit, look that up. But that was a big one. Uh, there's, like a, there's like a research tax thing that I'm not going to dive a lot into right now because I'm in the process of doing it. And if it, if it goes as it seems, then I'm actually going to have the person on as a podcast guest. So you'll hear more then. But that was substantial. Uh, we worked as a team to completely story brand new ads for, for employees, which has been awesome. We've developed different marketing strategies from that. A lot of leadership development, for sure. And, you know, I think, you know, one of the things that I got out of it too so far was that there's a few members in the group, and, and I'm one of them, um, that are doing stuff that are that's definitely outside the box, right? Like I'm a couple of weeks away from exiting patient care and not that I'm the first person to do that. That's for sure. But it's, it's outside the box uh, for someone in their, you know, technically in their prime at 42 and practice booming to, to, to do that. Um, but it's going really well. Like I'm down to probably <laughs> five or six patients this week. I'm out of town for half of it. I'm going up to strategic coach uh, and, and the practice is doing well. So uh, that's something to realize. One is there's a person in our group that takes a complete week off every month. So one week off each month and, and the, has, has multiple locations. And another one that has a practice in a different state that he lives, right? And so I just wanted to bring those three things up in the group. Uh, we chatted about it because it just shows that what, whatever you can think of within reason uh, you can make it happen. You just have to have the right people around you and the right ideas and the right strategies and 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 take that vision and have a an actual step by step plan to accomplish it. All right? It's not going to happen just willy nilly. But we just got to talking in the group about this, uh, and, and it's just amazing what some of the people in the group are doing and what you could do. Um, and so that's something I wanted to to touch on from this year's. And then um, outside of the, the Cairo aspect of things, one of uh, the 20 minute presentations from one of our members was on short term rentals. And I know a few people have taken them up on that or are starting the process of investing in short term rentals. And so there's sometimes there's ideas that come out of it that aren't chiropractic related, but are in that say personal category. We've had a lot of health things uh, shared and improved and it's been nice as a group um, to do that. And so leading into 2023, it's like, okay, how can I, you know, do this again? Cause I do plan on doing this each year. Uh, always have to have the, the people to want to do it and we need at least 15 and we cap it at 20 and, and we're already halfway there to the 15 just with, um, for sure re-enlistments from our current members. And some of the other ones are, um, going to let me know in the next uh, month or so. So it's going to, most likely fill up. And so you have to act on this stuff. And so I was like, how can I, what can I do in 2023? And I wanted to kind of touch on those things again, right? Like having some more information on what we did this year, but, but different. And so one of the per people that came to mind was Dr. Ray Tuck who is the CEO of his practices, has multiple locations, very successful in his early 50s, just doing wonderful things and just their practice and their, their business is just on point. And so I'm bringing him in right out of the gates in January on becoming the CEO of your practice. And it doesn't mean you have to stop treating patients, but he's going to give us the kind of blueprint of how you can really make sure you're an effective CEO of your practice, even if it's one practice. It's not, when I say CEO, I'm not picturing you wearing a three-piece suit and executive board meetings all the time. But you have to start doing the things that a CEO would do to run a successful practice. And so we're going to dive right out of the gates on that. So it's going to be a lot of that kind of mindset and purpose that Jay talks about. Uh, and so that's going to be fun. So we'll really set the tone with that. Then we're going to roll into the next one. I have the Scheduling Institute sending uh, one or two of their facilitators down. 
and we're going to tackle everything front desk. So we're going back to the people and really focus on our people in that particular weekend and having a rock star front desk. Because without that, in my opinion, you're, it's really hard for your, your practice to be rock star status. Like the front desk plays such a vital role in this whole thing. And so we're going to make sure that's great. The third weekend will be me. And we're going to dive into very strategic marketing. And so that'll be a process that we implement. And we're going to leave that weekend with a game-changing marketing process. Okay. And then the last weekend is going to be, uh, we're going to have build to sell is the title. Again, doesn't mean you're selling your practice tomorrow. It could be 25 years from now. But I have Crystal Meisenheimer coming from Progressive Practice Sales to talk about how you should start building your practice now as though it would be sellable. Because if you do that now, not only can it be sellable at any time because anything can change, but it's going to actually function better. And that means it's going to produce better revenue and better profits. So you never want to wait to start building your practice to sell. And so we're going to really finish off next year with that. So, uh, you know, start with being the CEO of your practice and ending with building to sell and in between really focusing on your people and processes and, and just building a phenomenal practice. And it's super important to understand that I know this is a, a commitment to join the mastermind, you know, whether you're talking about the finances of it, the travel, the weekends, uh, but uh, I can tell you from who's come to it so far, they would all say it's been worth it. And it's been transformational in a lot of ways. And I have no doubts uh, 2023 is going to be the same. Uh, we're going to be in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We're going to be in, uh, that's gonna be the first weekend. We're going to be in Naples, Florida. We're going to be in Tampa, Florida, and we're also going to be in Orlando. The Orlando will be the last one. And the way we're structured is you will have some time to, if you wanted to bring your family to do your Disney stuff, right? Uh, it's a great way to do it in November. Weather's pretty uh, mild, uh, and it's probably not mild where you're at, potentially, unless you're in Florida. And so that's uh, kind of how we're doing Key Largo this November, where some family's going to come and, and have a nice time as well. And so we're making this um, uh, a lot of learning, a lot of transformational ideas, but then also some fun and connecting with your colleagues on a level that we just typically don't do. Uh, unless you've joined Mastermind like this before. But we really tried to pair up the learning and the experience, okay? And so that's how the, the weekends will work next year. Uh, you can sign up now. Uh, the, the thing is, is there is a requirement, right? And, and I'll go through that. Um, you, your, your clinic does have to generate 350K a year in revenue. Um, some people think that's low, but what we a couple of us talked about was there's there's solo docs out there that are really busy and they're make their revenues 30,000 uh, a month and they're just a couple key things away uh, from breaking through that ceiling of complexity and a lot of that is leadership transformation and hiring and things like that to go from 30 to 50 right now we're really talking and so we decided to make something like 350 the minimum versus say five or 600,000. And because a lot of those, the, you know, maybe younger docs that are at that range have amazing ideas. And so our group this year has been awesome. We've got everybody from probably a few young guys to some, some that have been doing it for a while and some in between. And it's been a great mix of people being able to bring a ton of wisdom and then bring a lot of ton of fresh millennial ideas but we needed people that are performing at a, at a certain level uh, in, in this particular group. And so that is the, um, the requirement. It is $8,000 a year. It is installments. You can do, you can do a little discount, 10% if you pay in full. Uh, but you can do over four installments over a year. So it's not like it's, um, you have to pay all at once. So you have time to digest that if you need. There is a partnership combo if you are in a partnership of two DCs and you want to both come, it's $12,000 total. Uh, so we made that a little more, um, uh, you know, 12,000 instead of the 16, if it was the two of you there. And so that is the cost. Uh, you can go and, and sign up 
uh, now for it. And that is, uh, again, we will have verification to make sure that you do qualify and email me, Kevin at moderndeskjockey.com if you're interested but have any more questions. But there's a whole landing page for it. You can go to bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash M-C-M mastermind. There is two M's in that. So it's M-C-M mastermind, all right? B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash M-C-M mastermind. And you can check out a bunch of the details, the locations, the weekends. And um, it's just uh, it's just been a great experience for me. I'm excited for the rest of this year. I'm full go into uh, finalizing a couple details for Sarasota and Key Largo. All that's been kind of wrapped up for a while. Now I'll be diving into planning January of 2023. So uh, again, feel free if you just have questions, um, you know, Kevin at modern I I get it that it's a, a decision that you have to make. And if you need to even hop on a quick call with me because you have some questions, that's fine as well. Uh, you may know some of the members in there. Reach out to them if you have questions as well. Uh, but uh, I, I hope to see you there if you if you are interested. And again, that's bit.ly forward slash MCM Mastermind. 2023, I hope to see you there. That is it for this week's episode, but before you leave, check us out at www.modernchiropracticmarketing.com for all kinds of free resources such as blogs and the podcast episodes. We've got online courses. You can check out the Chiropractic Success Academy there, which is an amazing online coaching system for you at a very affordable monthly rate. Uh, there's a free online course on the modernchiropracticmarketing.com website, so check that out. If you're interested in some one-on-one -on -one coaching, we can do that as well. We have all kinds of resources for you there, and we would also truly appreciate if you could rate and review this podcast if you're getting valuable information out of it. I can't thank you enough, and we'll see you next week.